Hi everyone, thank you so much for showing so much love to my 30 days SQL challenge series. Trust me, this 30 days SQL challenge series has changed my life completely. And uh, because of that, I have taken another challenge where I'll be solving 50 interview questions for SQL. And today is the day one. So let's get started the video. So let's see the question first. So write the SQL query to find the second highest salary. Okay. So now this is the table. This is a very common interview question. I have received it from multiple people. So I have decided to basically include these questions. Although this looks like a very simple question, but uh, you know, sometimes it could be really challenging. So I'm going to solve this question in two approach. I'll be, you know, giving you both the approach so that you can follow which approach, you know, you feel best. You can follow that. And at the end of this video, I'm also going to give you a challenge. Okay. That, that you will have to basically solve. So I'll be solving these questions. Okay. Then I'll be giving you the challenge. So do watch the video till the end. So let's see the table. In the table, we have uh, employee ID, name, department, and the salary. And these are the data that we have basically in the table. So let's just go ahead and write the select everything from the table to see. Okay. Table name is employees. I can just press, uh, you know, uh, this. So this is how I see everything in the table. So for example, if you want to solve these questions, so, so let's understand logically how we can solve these questions, right? So we need to find the second highest salary, right? That employee details. So now you see this is the salary column. We can simply go ahead and order by the salary column, right? So if we just type order by, order by basically, you know, as a, you know, sorting this data by the salary column. So order by salary and i want the you know highest salary on the top so i will say salary descending which is desc in sql now if i just go ahead and run it so this basically you know gives me all the employee salary so now you can see the highest salary the employee name is michael and the salary is 64000 right now the second uh, highest salary that is 63000 that's a john so what we need basically we need this one right this employee details because this is the second highest salary in the employee table we have so there is two way we can basically get this a result so let me just show you the simplest way and that can be basically sometime incorrect as well but uh, let me just you know show you so we can go ahead and say limit okay limit uh, and we can say limit one we only need basically one record from this table okay and after this limit we have something called offset okay offset one if i say limit one and offset one and if i run this query okay this will basically only select one record from the data and offset basically it will ignore the one uh, the first record basically from this table the first row and then this limit one will ensure that because you were at then we're selecting only one record this offs offset is going to basically tell the query to ignore the first row that means by default it is going to select the second row right so if i just run it i have this data which is the second highest salary that's going to be sixty three thousand, right that's fine so now for example if uh, let me just go ahead and you know, kind of you know show you the table again now if example if there are two employees who has 63,000 63,000 so that's where basically you know it will be challenging then you will have to basically say limit two right that's how you'll be getting it now sometimes it can be incorrect as well because you do not know how many people have the same salary there could be multiple people have the same salary so that is the reason this is not the best approach to solve these questions in interview so i will show you the second approach that is going to be using a window functions okay window functions that is called tense rank okay now, if you do not know window functions leave a comment i'll make a video in the future in my sql series that i have uh, that i will be starting from next week so let's just go ahead and say how do we do it using window functions so using window functions i will say select everything from this table which is going to be employees okay for some selecting everything from the employees that is fine so window function basically what it does is basically create a new column here okay and it basically gives some a number like starting from one two three four five five six depending on some of the condition that you define inside the functions and then you basically filter out by this you know window functions a uh, number okay so for example let me just show you an example how it's going to be so i can just go ahead and go to the next line and i can go ahead and say that uh, select tense rank so the syntax is tense rank and you just close the bracket and you just need to give something called over and again close the bracket now inside this you need to basically type something called order by because i need to assign you know assign uh, i need to basically order by this data order order uh, this table based on the salary in descending right so i can say order by salary salary descending so and i'll need to give an alias in so i'll just say dance rank okay now if i just go ahead and run it you will see a new column will be created and it's basically assigning some number okay now the first number it has assigned to this employee which is uh, you know michael that is the highest salary and the second number that has assigned to basically this employee which is john 
now we can go ahead and basically use the where conditions to filter where this anti rn equals to two because this is a column right now this column doesn't exist in this main table so we need to basically use either sub query or cte which is outside this table and then we can use a basically where function using this column to select this a two and that's how you you know you'll be getting the second you know highest a salary now if there are two employee have the same you know salary which is sixty three thousand then also this rank that is a two that the second employee will also get the this a two rank then if you filter by this two you will be getting two or all the employee whoever has the same salary which is uh, you know falling into the second uh, you know highest a salary category so that is the reason this is the best approach so i can just go ahead and say okay now i think i can go ahead and say you will select everything i can say select everything okay from now i'll be using this as a sub query so i'll be saying select everything from and i'll just put this bracket so whatever we have inside this bracket okay this is going to i'm going to save this as sub query okay sub query so this is going to save as a sub query by this name so this is a table right this table is going to save inside you know i mean this sub query right from this sub query i'm saying select everything from this sub query now inside this table which is named sub query i have a column called drn right so i can go ahead and say where i can use the where functions where drn equals to two so that is how basically i can select the top you know i mean the all the employee details who has the second highest salary in the data so i can just go ahead and run it now see i only have one employee so let's just do one thing let's add one more employee who has the same salary which is sixty three thousand. then i will show you how it's going to be okay so i can just go ahead and say insert into employees so the table name is employees okay and what i want to insert is basically values okay and the values that i want to insert is going to be the employee id let's say 9 or maybe 11 okay and i want to insert what other than employee id i want to insert the name so name is going to be let's say sarah okay and uh, i would just say the department is going to be let's say it okay and uh, i would say i want the salary to be sixty-three thousand, right so i would say sixty-three thousand. okay and then i will say uh this drn i need to basically i don't need to define because it was created inside these functions so that's it i need okay i can just go ahead and run it i'll just put it here somewhere on here okay now we have added one more record okay now let's just go ahead and see uh you know uh edit new records okay now let's say we have added one more record now we know that there are two employees who has the second highest set which is sixty three thousand. now i can go ahead and uh you know basically select everything from i just do one thing okay just let's just run this query again now you will see it has selected two employee the first employee name is john and the second employee name is zara and they both are falling in the second highest salary which is going to be 63,000 63,000 and basically they how they are selecting we are selecting based on this window function that we have created using dense rank and we are saying that this dense rank has to be two that's the reason we are getting basically the two employee details who are you know kind of having the same salary and this salary is actually falling in the second category right if I just go ahead and run you this only functions you will be getting that this to employee so this is the highest salary 64,000 now this to employee has the same salary which is 63 63 now if I just use the earlier function which is this one you will be getting only one employee okay now you'll have to basically to uh, define as two here and then you will be getting basically two records okay now you do not know if there could be multiple employees right so basically this is not recommended although this works fine for the simple you know kind of uh, you know problem if there is only you know one employee who has the second highest salary otherwise this is the best approach so this is if you follow so you will definitely you know clear that basically you know kind of interview questions so that's it for uh, this video now i have a task for you so let's say the task that i have for you so the question is get the details of the employee with the second highest salary from each department so basically in each department there would be like multiple employees right so there would be one employee having the highest salary the second employee or third employee would have the you know second highest uh, third highest so what you need to get is basically second highest salary from each department so from each department you need to get like the employee 
names who whoever has the second highest salary so this is the questions and task for you you need to basically solve these questions and kind of you know write a comments your query okay now uh, to download all this uh, you know schema so you can go ahead and basically check my github i'm going to add this uh, link uh, in github you can just copy this into your database and just uh, you know kind of create the table then you can solve these questions and once you solve these questions do leave a comment so that i can you know go ahead and you know check and you know basically let you know if you are correct or if you are doing some mistake so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end do subscribe to my youtube channel if you really like my content and i'll see you tomorrow take care bye bye